Hey y'all. Uh oh. It's an Amazon emergency today. Let's talk about product review manipulation. This is a topic that you would think I wouldn't need to talk about because the rules are now very clear. As you probably know, if you've sold on Amazon for any amount of time, in the past, things were a little more flexible in the arena of trying to get reviews for your products. That has recently changed. Well, not so recently. It's about a year ago now um, where Amazon changed the policy that now the standard is just don't do it. You can ask for a product review, the end. You can't offer anything in return, can't give free stuff. Got to be really careful. Well, that does not stop people from doing it anyway and getting in a lot of trouble. And in fact, people, you know, it's just like any other rule or law in the universe that when the rule changes, there will always people be people who try to find a way to get around the rule. So the way people try and get around this rule, it's gotten really creative lately. Um, one thing we've seen people do is run Facebook campaigns. And in the Facebook campaign, it'll say, if you liked our product, click here. And you click there, and it sends you to the review page for the Amazon product to give a positive review. And it says, if you were unhappy or dissatisfied in any way, click here, and it sends you to their customer service. That's a big no-no, can't do that. Um, saw the exact same thing, a friend of mine sent me this uh, insert that he got with a product that he bought, it was a technology product, it had two inserts inside. One of them said, congratulations, you were chosen for a free gift, and it included a mini cable, and then a mini USB. And then the other one said, and this was like super cool the way they set it up, it had two QR codes. And it said, if you're happy with our product, scan the top QR code. And if you do that, it sends you to the review page. And then it said, if you have any questions or you're unhappy, scan this QR code, sent you to their customer service page. So since I'm seeing a lot of this out there, I just wanted to clarify the rules. You can't do that. Um, every customer has to be treated equally. You cannot in any way choose a group of customers that you believe are happy and ask them for reviews and then have other customers that you think might not be happy and not ask them for reviews. Um, that also includes the idea of asking people who give you positive store feedback for a review. Because if they gave you positive store feedback, they probably will give your product a good review, right? Stands to reason. So you can't cherry pick those folks either and reach out only to them and ask for product reviews. I hope this was helpful. And I also hope that you will please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If we can ever be of service, you can reach us at riverbendconsulting.com. And I hope you have a great day selling on Amazon.